Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Computer Programming and uh, today we are going to discuss how to fix that type of error in ASP.NET Core. If you are uh, creating a new project in ASP.NET Core and creating a SQL connection or SQL Server connection uh, with your project, then you got, if you got that type of error message like connection was successfully established with the server, but then an error occurred during the login process provider SSL provider error zero the certificate chain was issued by an authority that is not trusted so the authority is actually not trusted so how to fix that type of error message in ASP.NET Core so the error message is resolved by using and adding so you just add this uh, property in your connection string like that so uh, the connection string in ASP.NET Core that is server uh, that is the server name database that is the database name and trusted connection that is true. So server is actually your uh, database engine name. You can check in the SQL Server Management Studio that is the server name and database that is uh, where you want to connect your uh, database in the database engine. Trusted connection that is true. I mean to say that Windows security by default is enabled. And if it is not enabled, then you can use a username and the passwords. Multiple active result sets is true. That means of you can fire multiple queries with your database. And now your problem is fixed by line of this code. Trust server certificate true. Again, uh, I repeat. Trust, the spell is T-R-U-S-T, trust, server, S-E-R-V-E-R, server, certificate, C-E-R-T-I-F-I-C-A-T, -E trust, server, certificate is equals to true and colon, uh, semicolon, encrypt, E-N-C-R-Y-P-T, encrypt equals to false. That means your problem will be resolved. Okay. So you can just add that two property in your connection string and your will your problem will be resolved. Thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all others.